Indeed, Our Lady suffers along with us because she is the mother of all humanity and she loves each of us as her own child. The most dramatic evidence of anguish is when tears from heaven are tears of blood. In Civitavecchia, Italy, a statue of the Madonna of Medjugorje has been weeping tears of blood near Rome. Hundreds of thousands are flocking to see, to beseech, to reflect, and to pray. It has been reported that as many as 7,000 people a week jam the little church that houses this statue. Unlike the many apparitions of the Virgin Mary, Our Lady here has never pronounced a word in Civitavecchia. She has only wept. The local bishop, Monsignor Girolamo Grillo, initially a skeptic, changed his opinion when he personally witnessed the statue weep while in his very hands. This is a message for everyone. Let's not forget she is the mother of all, because at the foot of the cross, Jesus entrusted mankind to his mother. The tears are on their own an eloquent message for man today. The phenomena cries out to the whole world to dry the tears our mother sheds for all the sins in the world today. Since the weepings of Civitavecchia, at least 13 statues have been reported to have cried in Italy. These silent tears from heaven reawaken our sense of sin and our search for purity and holiness. Maybe the search itself is part of the message. Yet we crave to hear from Mary exactly why she sheds tears from heaven. Fortunately, she tells us at several locations in her own words. On Saturday, September 19th, 1846, on the eve of the Feast of Our Lady of Seven Sorrows, two children, Maximin Giraud and Melanie Calva, were tending their cows on a warm, clear day in the Alps of southeastern France, near the village of La Salette. Suddenly, they saw a luminous lady within a globe of light. She was crying with her hands over her face. Tears flowed from the eyes of the Virgin as she gently spoke. My children, peace shall not be given to the world until men have converted. Pray, fast, refrain from blasphemy. Keep holy the Sabbath and pray especially for your priests and bishops. For the world will be plunged into confusion. Implore God for his pardon and mercy before it is too late. Tears continued to flow from her eyes as she delivered an ominous message concerning the future of the world. She spoke of the world losing faith in God, of future wars, of changes in nature, and disasters both natural and man-made, and even of a heavenly fire which would befall the earth unless mankind returned to God. The Virgin warned of a great famine and entrusted each child with a secret. Her motherly tears continued until finally she looked towards heaven with joy and melted into the brilliant light. As history would later reveal, humanity's response was not enough and the potato famine intensified, especially in Ireland. Over a million people died in Europe due to the wheat shortage. France's vineyards were devastated by blight. As a consequence of the sins against God, failure to keep the Sabbath holy and God's name holy, God withdrew his protection, and mankind was forced to do penance via the famine. So serious was the message of La Salette that Pope Pius IX, who had read the secrets, commented years later. Do you wish to know the secret? This is it. Unless you do penance, you shall all perish. So Our Lady cries for us, for what will happen to us if we don't return to the path towards God. As the perfect mother, she suffers on our behalf as long as she can to restrain the justice of God and prolong the time of his mercy. If humanity fails to acknowledge the call of our Lord on his mother, then she can no longer hold back the hand of justice. Our Lady, as a loving and tender mother, is not only concerned with the fate of her children, but also with the fate of her church. Since the Church is the mystical body of Christ and Mary is the mother of Jesus, tradition has long held that Mary is mystically mother of the Church. 
One of the statue's most frequently reported weeping is the Rosa Mystica. On the base of this statue are the words, Mater Ecclesia, Ora Pro Nobis, Mother of the Church, pray for us. Today, reports of these lacrimations come from all over the world. For instance, in Elbano, in the northern part of Italy, a one-foot porcelain statue of the Rosa Mystica reportedly wept blood. In South America, many Rosa Mystica statues have wept tears, and miraculous cures have occurred. Numerous Rosa Mystica statues have wept in Mosmechel in Belgium, beginning on September 25, 1982, the Feast of the Seven Sorrows of Mary, the same feast day that Our Lady cried at La Salette. I have to admit, I did see tears weeping, Our Lady weeping, um, a Rosa Mystica statue weeping in Masmechlin, Belgium. Three statues were weeping at the time we were there. I can tell you that all of us had a feeling of awe, a feeling of respect. We were quiet, we were prayerful, we were overcome. And when we went back, we said our prayers with such a devotion. And none of us will ever forget that. It was profound. Perhaps the tears shed from these statues remind us of Our Lady's deep sorrow and the continuing need to pray for priests and religious who are prime targets of diabolic temptation. His greatest aggression and his greatest uh, antagonism is toward priests and the clergy. Because if he can draw away a clergy member, then he draws away many people who are around that clergy member. The fact that some priests are being condemned to hell makes these tears from heaven all the more urgent. This was indeed the case with Roman Catholic priest Father Stephen Shire. In October 1985, Father Shire was in a violent head-on collision that snapped his neck and tore half his scalp in While paramedics worked desperately to save him, Father Shire's life was dimming. What occurred next would forever change him. Unconscious and barely clinging to life, Father Shire slipped into death's grasp. Suddenly, he found himself alone in another dimension, something he described as a vast spiritual void. I was before the judgment seat of Almighty God, His Son, Jesus Christ. Our Lord went through my unconfessed, unforgiven, mortal sins, all the sins of my life, really, for your sentence. He said, I have to sentence you to hell. It was as if I had pronounced the sentence myself. I had chosen my destiny. He was just honoring that decision. Um, I did not see him. I just heard him. So the next voice I heard uh, was that of a female. Um, I didn't see her either. But she said, Son, would you please spare his life and his eternal soul? He said, Mother, he's been a priest for 12 years for himself and not for me. Let him reap the punishment he deserves. She came back, she said, but son, if we give to him special graces and strengths, and then see who bears fruit, if not, your will be done. There was a very short pause, and he came back and said, Mother, he's yours. Despite only a 15% chance of surviving and injuries that should have left him paralyzed for life, Father Shire defied all odds and made an unexplainable recovery. It is clear we must pray and make sacrifices for those consecrated to religious life as well as for our neighbors. Prayer, penance, sacrifice. These three words sum up the message of the weeping Rosa Mystica. Prayer, suffering, and reparation were also central to the apparitions of Mary and an angel at Fatima, Portugal. So it is no surprise that the Fatima pilgrim statues that tour the world have also shed tears from heaven. 
She has wept, documented cases over 30 times. One time as many as 6,000 people seeing the statue weep. You had the International Pilgrim Virgin around 1971, 72, was weeping again and again, but it didn't come into prominent notice until at New Orleans in July 1972, it wept two weepings, and that went around the world. As